Thanks for watching the WHME TV 46 High School Game of the Week. Brought to you by... Well, if you got a game like this, you come to your feet at the Fleet Gymnasium. 69-58, Culver Academy wins over the Fighting Irish at Cathedral. Both teams now 12-4, and four. Chuck and Bob courtside, and that thing had everything. It, it did, and, and great finishes. We saw that in the JV game, and then the finish that Cathedral had in regulation was unbelievable, made some huge shots, and then Culver in the overtime really took it over, and I'm not sure if one team was fresher than the other. I just think that Culver had three guys they could count on, and they all did a great job, Craig and Hiddle and Galloway in the overtime. So there was no doubt, though, who the player of the game was, and it's one of the reasons he's going to Indiana University, his ability to take over games like this. Trey Galloway standing by with Bo Hunt, our IU South Bend, fulfilling the promise, player of the game. Standing by with Trey Galloway. First off, 27 points tonight. Congratulations on this huge victory. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Cathedral come in here, ranked fifth in the state. Yeah. Just talk about what you guys had to overcome in this game and their physicality. Yeah, I mean, we knew it was going to be physical all night, um, and so we just tried to match their intensity. Um, obviously, they're a really good team, and it was just really good to come in and compete with them. So it's got the win. I know coming in this game, you guys have been struggling with free throws. You yeah. guys struggled with it early. Yeah. You guys were able to overcome that yeah. later yeah. in the game. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's really all just a mental thing. Um, we're good shooters. Um, we, we can knock them down. We know we can knock them down. Um, so it's just repetition and just going up with confidence and making them. I thought we did it down the stretch. You guys, it seems like you guys are really starting to get in the groove. The competition that you guys play throughout the year really has an effect with that, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, no, I mean, it's great. I mean, we, that's what we do. We, uh, we try to play the best to prepare us for the postseason. So um, win or lose, it's going to get us better. Um, and we'd rather, we'd rather have a win, but um, no matter what, I think, I think we got better. Trey, it's always a pleasure talking yeah, to you. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Appreciate Back to you guys. And there was one play in this game that stood out as our electrical workers, local 143, or local 153, electrifying play of the game. And it was a pretty easy selection. It's the one that basically quieted us and electrified the crowd. It did. And uh, Trey taking it down and finishing and getting the slam and his teammates just pumped up. Watch it again as he takes it strong to the hoop, finishes strong over the defense, and uh, just a great, great way to punctuate an outstanding performance individually, and a great performance by the team. They just knocked out the number five team in the state of Indiana. We got a chance to, to watch it and to carry the game, and uh, what a thrill. And you know, Trey Galloway is gonna go on to IU, and of course, we're the home for IU basketball on our radio broadcast yes. with Don Fisher. So, uh, Don will learn how to pronounce Galloway. I, think I don't he'll, think he'll have a problem with no, that. No, he'll, he'll be fine with it. So Traders Point Christian next for Culver Academy. That's on next Saturday. But you know what? They play that Attics team that won the city championship in two weeks. The tests continue to come for both of these squads. Center Grove coming up for Cathedral, and then they've got a couple of Gary teams with Gary West and Gary 21st Century, both very solid teams. So both these teams are going to be well prepared for the tournament. Well, and when you think about them coming back for the tournament with more local teams, but they've reached out and they've made themselves a better team by playing better competition. Our thanks to our TV46 crew doing double duty this weekend to bring you this one, led by our production manager, Dean Corsmo, and our usual squad of talented people. A reminder, next Friday night we begin our coverage of the girls' tournament when we have the Marion Knights and the St. Joe Indians perhaps meeting in the semifinals of the 3A sectional at John Glenn. We'll have it for you Friday night at 11 and Saturday morning at 9. And don't forget on the radio on Sunday afternoon, it's Notre Dame women's basketball. The Irish taking on Georgia Tech. Tony Simeone has the call from Atlanta Sunday at 2 on 92.1, 96.9, and 103.1 FM. Our thanks to the great staff here at Culver Academies for being our host tonight and making this game possible. For my Hall of Fame partners, Bob Nagel and Bo Hunt, it's Chuck Freebie. Once again, the final. Culver Academy 69, Cathedral 58 in overtime. So long from the shores of Lake Max and Cucky.